This post is for clients. If you're a client and you're researching knotted locks as an option for you and you're trying to understand Melissa's work, this is a great post for you. My work is focusing on making sure each head celebrates the individuality of their African texture hair in small size locks. Therefore, water is crucial. And so what I'm trying to do is prevent that hair in knotted locks from unraveling. And that's why knotted locks exist. It exists because fundamentally I want my clients to interact with water as often as they want to without worrying about their locks, their small size locks unraveling. This is an example of a client's head. Now what's interesting about knotted locks is because my work is very much influenced by the texture head and the lifestyle of the owner of that head when I'm creating knotted locks, all of our conversation holistically is actually tied into what I create on that head. And so that's what you're seeing, which what this means is every time the client sits in the chair and you already know I'm trying to stretch out the appointment. So I'm aiming for four times a year, summer, autumn, winter, spring. Every time the client sits in the chair, it's a very different experience in comparison to the previous one. And that's simply because I work in a really adaptable way. I'm responding to what the strands need, what the hair, the information I'm getting, what the hair tells me it needs. I remember the texture of the hair when I'm creating. I remember the texture of hair that I'm actually knotting. And I try and allow that to always come through. And that's why I love regrowth. And so I try to showcase the hair. And part of that is allowing the client to not do their hair as often as possible, encouraging them, do not do your hair as often. Because it also enables that client to live with their Afro hair. It's a great way to enjoy your natural texture hair when it's in knotted locks. Because this client, really, we've come to the point where he sits in the chair three times a year, not even four times a year. So most of the time, he's got his afro beneath, underneath his locked area, his knotted locks. What I'm showing you is an example of knotted locks. And every single head is different. So don't look at this head and like take it literally and assume that's how yours would look. It won't. It will look very different from this head. But hopefully, as you see close up of my work, you begin to understand that for me, African hair is a canvas. It's a canvas that allows me to express my feelings, to translate how I feel about African hair. It's my canvas. How I express my creativity on that head differs each lock every time. I'm looking at thickness. My focus is on the thickness of the lock, maximum density, and the length takes care of itself. As you see this post, you begin to get an idea of what I do because I'm limited with words and it's hard to actually express exactly what I do when my clients are in my chair. But this kind of gives you a flavor of what I'm all about. And what it is, is I'm just saying, I absolutely love African texture hair in small size locks. And you can just make the rules up as you go along, depending on what your hair needs. Choose not knotted locks. Choose not knotted locks.